Hi guys, welcome to Fishing Tackle Channel. Uh, I haven't done this in a while, so I thought I sh should share my latest tackle with you. So I got more jigs from, let's see, Captain J Fishing Saltwater Jigs Speed Jigging. Um, if you Google it or just go to Amazon and search for Captain J or he, this seller also goes by something else like Captain Wong or something like that. Um, but anyways, this came in, I think, what is it? One, two, three, four, five. For some reason, I thought I got six. I think I have one on my tackle box right now. But this one is specifically for 80 grams. And I think I paid about $30 for altogether. So it's about five, 10, 15, 20, 25. 30 so I think there is six um, and among those there's this one uh, which is also glow in the dark if you could see closely this glow in the dark part right there and then there's a black color one with the same design so this comes in these little nice velcro case so that as set to not separate and they are approximately 80 uh, grams. So 80 grams is about, what is it? Um, three and a half ounce or something like that. So between three and four ounce. And then I have also these jigs that are 100 grams. So it's a little bit different, a little bit fancier. Um, it's sold in a, as a set as well. And this one, cost you cost me about eight dollar a piece i think it came in a set for twenty dollars or 25 so that's a pretty good deal some uh, most of these based on marketing and advertising you would have to pay around 10 to 15 dollars if you're going for shimano but to be honest you know shimano whether it's a shimano which i have owned cost you like 20 bucks a piece or more or 25 um, there's not much difference. So like I've done videos before, Captain J is pretty good. Their quality is very good. These are right here dots are the uh, glow in the dark as well. It's very well made, 80 grams. So I would not recommend, uh, if you are not jigging with light jigging rod, uh, like somewhere between 15 and 20 pounds, I probably wouldn't go with any of these 80 ounce, 80 grams, or if you are an experienced fisherman, uh, because you won't be able to fill the bottom. So anything 80 grams and above, I think uh, most people could handle it, as long as you're not putting on like 50 to 80 pounds of braid or monofilament or something like that. But with 80 gram, it could easily be used for deep sea fishing anywhere between 100 uh, feet and deeper. 100 gram is a lot better for those are not, okay, so 100 gram is 3.5 ounce. So 80 grams is about three ounces. So 100 grams is, is easier if it's, t but I would always carry a, like 150 to 200 grams as well. But for me, uh, 100 gram is good enough, as, especially if uh, the water isn't drifting, the boat isn't drifting as fast, and the water current isn't as strong, then this will do. Or if it's in shallow water, of course, you could go with 60 grams. 100 grams, if it's too much, I would go with this. But it all depends, um, depending on the water. So you can't really say which is better. Uh, obviously, if you can't hold bottom, then you want to get something heavier. But sometimes uh, going light might be better than going heavy. It all depends on the, uh, the presentation. So when you're lifting it up, and then if it's just dropping flat, down without showing any kind of like uh, any action for the um, jigs to go like this right flutter or kick a little bit almost like a dying fish and there's no point if it's just going straight down so you want to try the based on different environment and different setting uh, on a boat whether it's drifting or anchored you want to try different ones 
And again, if you're not comfortable or you're afraid you're going to tangle with everybody else, usually if you're anchored, you should be okay. But if you're drifting, you should be a little bit more experienced with it. But either way, try it out. It's uh, Even if you tangle, it's not that bad because you don't have multiple hooks and multiple rigs on there um you just have a direct mono i mean floral carbon to your main line to this and that's all you got you got one to two hooks that you're going to be assisted hooks that you're going to use so even if it gets tangled no big deal as long as the boats aren't crowded it'll be used really well so let me um enough talking about that if you have any questions leave a comment below and i'll be happy to Try to answer as best I can. Again, I'm not a jig expert. I don't think I've met any jig experts uh, because the way Japanese use it, vice Australians and Americans in Florida or West Coast, they, they all do it differently. So that's another fun thing about jigging, metal jigging. You, There is no right or wrong way, I don't think. Um, it's your preference on how you, you present it. You could always learn from others, but at the same time, you could toy around with it, experiment, and you know, and that's totally okay with it. Don't don't let anybody tell you otherwise. Here's a nice model. So again, there it comes with the black color and this pinkish color with this cracks that when you shut off the light, um, it glows in the dark really well. So I kind of like it. Again, this is kind of a original style. And as you can see, there's it's the details are great the way it's made. Check out this guy. And make sure to subscribe if you haven't already and if you don't mind clicking that like button, that would help me generate more um views for my channel i'm trying to get to a thousand view and try to monetize these this thing so i can make this channel more than just a hobby upload and share and hopefully if i start to get sponsor which is just a dream um i could do some giveaways and, and share these guys these jigs and other things with you guys the subscribers as well but the color there's a scratch but no big deal again captain j um this is the best i because i mean this i i do highly recommend it they don't sponsor me and i bought everything with my own money it's awesome look at this look at the color the groove uh, and all the metal jigs are very different they're butterfly jigs they're speed jigs they're many different things uh there's you know, to be honest, there's no right or wrong jigs. It's the way you use it and how you use it. So uh, you just got to experiment and see how it works. Like I would one day I would use this and catch a whole lot of good sized fish. And then another day I use this and I don't catch a single thing. And I would have to switch up to like 100 grams with a different style of jigging. And I start catching. So uh, the, the fish... Do not discriminate. Um, they will attack and bite out of instinct. So, you know, experience comes with how you adjust to your surrounding and environment. But otherwise, uh, that's what's so fun about, for me, fun about fishing. It's not catching, right? If, like people say, if I wanted to catch fish i would just go to a fish market why would i pay hundreds and hundreds of dollars to go out fishing when i could just go buy the fish at a market for a lot cheaper price so this is a hobby and sports for some people but get this i love this hologram effect um i don't like mu so much uh, again they're cutting costs but this is the fact that they're giving you an assist hook is great uh, I bought additional assist hook for it, and what I like to do is put one on the bottom here and two on the top. And then again, if you want a sure guaranteed uh, bite, you could put a bait on one of these hooks, bottom or top. 
but you don't want to put something heavy. You want to put something very small and light just to attract, uh, get the scent. Or another way to do it is uh, what I did was I would get one of those gel, uh, scented gels that you could, like a shrimp or squid. Uh, gels or one of those procure that you could actually rub into it which will attract the fish's attention when you're jigging so there you have it for these uh, very good price it comes with the case i love this and uh, one thing i would recommend is when you buy stuff you get i keep all these it's not a styrofoam it's one of these little I don't know what, I guess it's a different kind of styrofoam. Um, but this is very good to have because sometimes if you don't have the case or you lose it or if you're in a rush, I'd, I'd like to just use this just like that. And uh, voila, I would just grab multiple fishing jigs. And so when your wife or when you order stuff online and packaging, or I think this came with the furniture, maybe Ikea or um, something, um, you, a desk or a part of the bed to, to cushion it. Anyways, I cut it into pieces and I use it like this. And then it won't hook, damage your hook as well. Just like that. So it's pretty useful. So if you're on the run, this is a great way for not only jigs, for any hook um, to put on there. Pretty thick, like that, it stays put. And then I, I would just throw these guys just like that into my tackle box. But let's open this one up for my next video. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed um, this quick video on my fishing tackle for my next fishing trip i'm going on hopefully if the weather permits a 12-hour trip and i'll be using probably a black version of this and one of these guys i kind of like this rainbow one so stay tuned and subscribe and like this video thanks for watching and i'll talk to you guys on your the next video with this guy